Hello! Many of you may know me as Omega Arsenal. I am... How do you say? A frequent poster at a popular Pokemon forum named Poke Community. I go there to post all sorts of things. My, mainly about ROM hacking though. One of my favorite things to do. And I've noticed around the emulation sections of the forums that people seem to have a hard time putting on the Game Boy Advanced emulator onto their PSPs. I am going to be working with a PSP 2000 Slim even though this will work with the PSP Fat and the PSP 3000 if you have the PSP 3000 hack with your TIFF exploit. Now, as you can see, my PSP, yes, I don't have it on here now, which is, I'm, I'm, I'm going to go through the setup with you, so you know, you, you can follow along. It's going to be very simple, very easy process that is easy to follow, easy to understand, because I know PSPs. I've been doing this thing for years and years now, and I thought I'd help you out. Okay, now that we have decided to start getting the GPSP video, no, not video, Game Boy Advanced emulator for our PSP, I have everything up already. I'll have the link in the YouTube description. You can look at it on the left. No, right. What am I thinking? Um, QJ.net. Wonderful website for all your PSP hacking needs, including PSP emulators. So what we're going to do is go to http colon slash slash dl.qj.net slash uo dash gpsp dash chi, you know, blah 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 blah. I'll include it in the description, you can just copy pasta. You want to scroll down here and click the download button. Click that. Brings us here, wait a second, and it will ask us if we want to download it. Waiting, save file, okay. Okay, okay. Now that it's done, close the downloads thing because I have mine automatically delete everything. Go to see here it is right here on my desktop right here. See. Okay, so what you want to do? Want to right click, extract. Give it a second. Click OK. Extracting. That was fast. Delete the archive because I don't need it. Bring this back up here because I like it up here. Now we have this one folder right here. Now I'm gonna. Turn on my PSP here. There we go. Wait for it to turn on. Loading, loading, loading. loading. Okay, here we go. Scroll over. USB connection. And it's in USB mode. Do do. That means USB has been activated. Wait a moment. Come on, where's autoplay? Uh, it's PC sometimes. Computer. Removable disk E. We go to the okay. This is where you need to go. Go into your removable disk, your PSP folder. Go into the folder here, PSP. Double click. Go inside. Now go to your game folder. Even if you're on a PSP Fat or a 3000, you're still gonna want to put it in the game folder. The game folder is where it goes, not the game 150 or game 5XX or whatever firmware you're on, which by the way it is recommended that you use firmware 5.00 M33-6 because that's the newest custom firmware with the most crap. Anyway, continue on to game and then you'll notice I've already put it on here. All you need to do is just simply drag and drop. Notice how I have them both on here already. See? GPSP, GPSP, it's the same thing in here. See, look, all this. Except me, I have the BIOS file. This is a com crucial component in running this. You need a GBA underscore BIOS dot bin file. That is the only way this is going to work. I am not going to tell you where to get a hold of one because it is against the law. If I were to tell you where to get one, that would be bad. Now where you put your ROMs, easy. Go inside your GBA folder, in the ROM folder. Oh yeah, there's Pokemon Fire Red version. I love that game. That's the only one I have in here because for the sake of this demonstration, I'm not going to tell you where to get ROMs either because this video will be taken down. Even though there are others all over YouTube like this, I want to be able to post this on Poke Community. Anyway, once this is done... Oh, who are you? What are you talking about? Oh, hey, everybody on PC. ROM hackers galore. You should know this guy. Link and Zelda. Laz. Y'all know him. Hey, lad. Say hi to the people. 
Come on, Laz, reply. Hey, Laz, say hi to the people. Come on. I know I spelled say wrong. Don't you dare criticize me, you flaming flamers. And that's the main way of installing... I don't care about Mac. I don't run on a Mac. Do, 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 come on, reply. Do it or I shall destroy your soul. <laughs> uh, sorry I'm taking a long time, hold on. People ask questions, I'll end them. All of you should know this guy. If you're a ROM hacker, an experienced one at that, Laz is someone you'll know. I know, but nobs seem to have trouble. Anyways, be right back. Okay. Now, as we finish this little tutorial of our... You go into your PSP now, you should be the first one on the top if that's the newest thing you've installed. UOGSP Kai. GPSP Kai. Yeah? Okay. And then we press circle. Well, because mine's worth circle. Wow, i never seen that happen on that theme. I have a random thing on there that makes this what randomly happens. I need to turn it off. Okay. Should load up. Now, the one at the top right here, or up here that should be your game your rom circle it'll you now the thing in uo gpsp is circle loads things x goes back so x and circle are kind of swapped and you can see this is working perfectly the glare is just the background and everything it's uh, you'll notice there's no one megabyte or there's no one m circuit board problem I know it seems like it's really bright, but that's just because of my screen. Now, I think you understand that. Now you want to press home. This will bring you here. You can also press triangle. You're going to want to edit your uh, game, your input, you know, up, down, left, right, and everything. Edit all this information to your liking so that you have everything set up the way you want. There's a fast forward setting. I set mine to square. Squares normally show frames per second. You can change that, you know. I just find it easiest like that. And uh, that's pretty much all you need to know. Uh, whenever you want to exit, just go to exit GPSP. Um, you know. But remember, the first thing you want to do is edit your settings. So remember to do that first. And uh, that's pretty much it. I know I said I was going to record on my crappy camera, but I was lying. <laughs> um, yeah. It's a cool theme, simplistic. Anyway. Yeah, I know, that sucked. No, not sleep mode crap. Doesn't matter, I'll put it I'll turn it off in a minute. Anyway, that's all. That's all. <laughs> um but yeah, if you have any questions, find me on pokecommunity.com. If I mean I made this for you guys, you should know who I am by now. Um you can email me, Omega Arsenal at Hotmail that well. Omega da or O M three G A dash A R S three N A L at hotmail.com. You can message me there if you have any questions, but I would prefer if you sent me a PM on Pokey Community since if you don't understand this well, I this is even on YouTube. You can just ask me on YouTube. Send me a message. Alright. Thanks for watching. Rate whatever you want to rate it. I mean, I don't know, there's like a million copies of this tutorial online, but the people of Poke Community don't seem to know how to look it up, so I'm making it for them, okay? Bye.